in Sumo Studios. On the screen is Blender. We're going to be installing a special add-on um, that converts Daz hair. That link to that add-on, which is a zip file, is included in the description of the video. Simply download that zip file. Don't extract it, just, just download it. And we'll install it right now. So we'll go to Edit, we'll go to Preferences. We'll be looking for a new installation, so we're going to hit Install. Browse to wherever we downloaded our zip file, probably in the downloads folder. Select that and hit install add-on. And that will take a few seconds to install. Once completed, let's uh, just do a search for hair. And you'll see this object mesh um, hair. It won't be turned on. The little box won't be checked. And if you look over here at the side menu, you can, if it's not shown, you can hit the N, like in Nancy, and that'll pop it up. You can see there's three tabs. Once you turn this on, now there's four, and one of them is called hair. That is our converter. So that means the installation is complete and ready to go. On the screen is Daz Studio. We have our character loaded up with her hair, clothing, everything, and we have her selected. And all we're going to do is save this or export it as a wave object file. So give your object a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Leah. And then hit save. Mine already exist. I'm just going to overwrite it. Here's your export options. Make sure they match my defaults here. And then hit accept. Very quickly, it's going to create the object file. Now, we just, we're just going to take this object file and import it into Blender. Back in Blender, we simply want to hit File, Import, Wave front object, browse to where we exported our object, hit import, and that will import the character and the hair and everything else. You'll see them populate. There they go. We don't need this cube, so we're going to delete that. Let's zoom in and rotate around here. Yeah, that looks real good. Next, we're going to convert the hair. Now that we have our character imported, we can isolate the hair by simply turning everything else off. So just hit the little eyeball right here. Turn off everything but the hair. Oops. And in the hair, there are two materials, the hair and the cap. So let's go down to materials, and we'll see that we have those. We'll want to look at those and separate them and set them up and prepare them for the conversion tool. Switch to edit mode by hitting tab, select cap, and just pick it on the materials and then hit select. And you can see we've only selected the cap. Then we hit P for separate to separate this, and we hit Selection there. Now, once that's done, we switch back to Object Mode by hitting Tab, and we want to select the hair first. And you see that color? If you're not familiar with Blender, that, that sets the primary color uh, of selection. Any objects after this will be a different color, usually a lighter color. And we'll see that happen as we select this next object. So I'm holding down the shift and hitting that 
cap or scalp. Now our hair is ready for conversion. So we simply navigate to the new menu item called hair and we select convert hair. If you keep an eye closely here you'll see when we did that separate it created this separate hair which is the scalp and it's going to convert in in this particular hair that it created this 001 that is our going to be our finished product so you just you know right now everything is set properly let's hit convert hair in just a matter of seconds our hair is now converted we are currently selected currently sitting on this particular object which is exactly what we want down here in the lower right um, you may have to look around uh, make sure you're in this particle setting and turn this emitter off that's just for rendering um, at this point we're ready to export so we simply go to file export Alembic we give it a name or put it I'm gonna put it on my desktop and we're going to give it a name let's call it hair 4 because I've done this several times <laughs> make sure your scale is set to 100 your frame start and end we only want one image or one generation so make sure you set that to one that way it only does the one frame Make sure your selected objects, invisible objects, is selected and hit export. We have now converted the hair and exported it. And now we're ready to import that into Unreal Engine. We'll be doing that in the next video.